Rye is not feeling good today. Actually, it started yesterday. Yesterday, we were in LA. We literally just flew in. We woke up at 3 a.m., took two planes, and now we have a two-hour car ride home. And of course, today is the day out of all days that Mariah gets hit with, I think, a cold. the it's, cold weather changing did that yeah and coachella i think just all the movement and like i feel like my body hasn't done this much stuff in two weeks guys no, i kid you not we did not chill at all we, we were go 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 which was amazing it was such a fun time yeah it was the best time ever but now i am paying the bills it was so worth it though if you guys didn't see our recent youtube videos make sure to go back and watch them after this video because they were super fun and we like literally were in la for two weeks went to coachella I, weekend and last night before we went on our flight today i was panicking i was like oh my god am i not gonna make it on my flight all i want to do is get home get to my own bed i thought because she got her time of the month that that's why her stomach was hurting like because it does do that to you but she she was telling me that her body was aching that her um, head hurt, she was cold, and I'm like, all right, it could be from the whole stress of the travel, because like, I don't know if all you get it, but like, sometimes I get it where like, if I travel too much, you feel like you're like kind of sick, even though you're not. Well, it turns out this girl actually is sick. I don't know if you have a fever yet. Her forehead goes from like hot to not, so I think I'm just gonna see when we get home, but we haven't seen our cats in two weeks. Oh, you guys, they're probably so mad at us. At least we can go back and they can hopefully make you feel better. Yeah, I just want to, I literally, all I think about right now is it's so cold. I just want to take a hot shower and then put on a hoodie and some pants and go lay in bed. And get some good dinner. But let's finish this. We got about 37 minutes left of the car ride before we get home. Uh, and let's go see how our kitties react. I'm probably going to order Panera. I need like a soup. I told you, Panera I feel like would be good. Like, yeah. either get like chicken noodle or like no, I wanna get my broccoli, broccoli and cheddar. And cheddar. All right, let's get home. I'm gonna film our cats greeting us because I already know it's gonna be like the best day of our cats' lives. They probably think we abandoned them by now. It's been two weeks and we, they, they haven't seen us. They've been home alone the entire time. Gosh, we made it home. Baby, I just want to get inside right now. I know you do. Why don't you go inside and I'll take care of the suitcase? No, really? don't. Okay, Why okay, would you okay, okay. Let's go through lift the, all that up? Go to the garage or the front yeah, door? let's go front door. Front door? Dude, the kitties are gonna have no idea where I'm. I'm actually so excited. They don't even know we're here. Ready? <gasps> Snappy Toto. <gasps> we're home. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi! Oh, they, they're so confused. Hi! I know you thought we would never come back. Do you remember me? Do you remember me? Let me just say, Marble Squad, Snap's tail has not been up. We have ring cameras all around our house when we go out so we can monitor all the cats. Well, every single time we checked on them, Snap and Thor, like Snap's tail was just straight down, which means he's sad. Look, at he's all happy. He's scratching on his scratcher. Oh, you missed us. It's been two weeks. Two weeks, bro. This is the longest we've ever been away from them. Last time we went on vacation for two weeks, we brought them with. And this time we literally just had my sister coming over here and like, you know, feeding them, taking care of them. So they had her, but like, they don't know where we were. Hi. Oh my God, he's so cute. He's so happy. Oh, so, though, we need to give you love too. I know. Are you so happy? I know. <laughs> oh. Yo, they're gonna be so cuddly. We have to leave the door open tonight. Yeah. They're gonna cuddle us so, they're gonna not leave our sight because they're gonna think that we're gonna leave again. Hi, Snap, I love you so much. I, you tell Thor to try his tail I know, I know. Look at Thor's tail, it's so puffy. And Snap is just like, Daddy, 
he's got love his butt. Love you. He's so cute. Oh my god. Mm mm mm. Our Panera just came in. Mariah got a broccoli and cheddar with a bread bowl, and I got an actual sandwich that I've never gotten before. So hopefully it's good. Hopefully this will make you feel a little bit better, baby. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> I can't see my face, but. Oh, Hi. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you look really cute, actually. I just Stop. Like an hour and all right, but the key about being sick, okay, and to make you feel better, is to take a hot shower. Uh -huh. So you want to take a warm shower. You also want to try, you know, sweating it out a little bit. Can you those little pebbles that are in there? Oh yeah. Aren't, aren't you supposed to take those when you're not, like before you get sick? Yeah, I don't know if they'll help. Another key factor that might have played a big role in this is we haven't taken vitamins in like two weeks. <laughs> And we've been traveling. I feel like the most thing that you want to do when you're traveling is take vitamins, but we have not, sadly. But we're paying the price. I do have a little headache. I feel like I'm, I'm a little sick. Really? I definitely do have a little headache. So I feel like I have what you have, but like it's not as bad. Hopefully it doesn't get bad tomorrow. I know. I hope not. But yesterday I did have symptoms like you did. It's just today mine's not bad. I'm sorry. I'll let you eat in peace. <laughs> Our cats are so I happy. Like, what the heck they're actually that? playing now. They haven't been really playing a lot. But look at They're so happy. Happy. <laughs> oh. Guys, you are not gonna believe what freaking happened. I saved your ass, you know that? I saved your ass from this house being burnt. So not gonna lie, without Mariah, our house probably wouldn't have been here yesterday. And this is a real talk. I wanna spread fire awareness because the story I'm about to tell I it's a story believe. that shouldn't Wait, happen. So this is the thing, and I still have the pan over here. So let me just start with this. I was cooking something on the stove, and it was this pan right here. As you can see, look at all the residue in this pan. I already wiped it out, and there's still stuff burnt to it. I'm not even kidding. I literally almost set the house on fire yesterday. We literally got a phone call from 911. This is like totally like 100% legit. I'm not effing around right, right now. I cannot believe what happened. So wait, no, I want to say what I was doing though. Okay, let's say what you were doing and then I want to explain what how this all happened. So it's six o'clock last night. Mariah asked me to make dinner. The reason I wanted him to make dinner too was because I had a massive headache and I wasn't feeling good, but I'm feeling so much better today, thank God. So but... I start making dinner and how I cook salmon is most of the time I cook it on the stove top. So you take the pan, you put oil in the pan and then you turn the heat on, right? And you wait for it to heat up. What I did was in order to make the oil heat up faster, I put it on full max heat, which is fine. But the thing is I looked over at the pool and we haven't been here for two weeks we've been in LA so I was filling up the pool with water I look over I'm like oh crap the pool is overflowing I have to shut off the hose so as the pans heating up and as you should have before you walked outside turn the stove off yeah or put the pan away from the burner he didn't do that I went outside, I grabbed the hose out of the pool, and for some reason, I was just like, oh, let me water the grass a little bit because our grass has been dying. Did like, you like, forget that you're still, you had on the I don't know what I was doing. I don't. I forgot that it takes, okay. it, it heats up fast. All right, let's transition to me now because now this is where I come into play. I'm playing Fortnite, and I was literally about to start my game, but I was like, it smells weird. Like it smells, it smells like smoke, but I was like, also like, well, maybe he has, cause he, I know he was cooking salmon, maybe the salmon's cooking up. So you went to the up. bathroom? No. You were I in the didn't. bathroom. I wasn't in the bathroom. I thought you were, you were. No, you, I you were screamed that at you, bathroom. no, I wasn't. Babe, I remember Babe. hearing the toilet, you sitting down, I thought. No, no, that was after. I wasn't even going to get up because I thought Bill already had the salmon on the stove cooking and I thought, oh, maybe it's just smelling smoky because he's cooking the salmon. But then I had this weird gut feeling that no, there wasn't any salmon and that it's burning. So I'm like, before I got in this game, I gotta get up and look. I walk over here and I see smoke all in the freaking air and on the stove. I freak out, I go and look, there's nothing in the pan, and I'm like, oh my god, I turned it off. Smoke was everywhere. I go outside and I go, I yelled at him, I'm like, Bill! I'm like, you almost set our house on fire, and you were so lucky my gut feeling told me on that couch to get up and look, because our house would have been in flames. But here's the thing, I this is like, halfway done sorry i didn't think it was that big of a deal because i was like oh shoot sorry babe like i forgot this thing was on the stove it might have been you know smoking a little bit this girl goes back inside i'm rolling up the hose now i don't even think anything of it she's yelling like oh my gosh the smoke's everywhere and i'm like oh shit. i come inside the house is a literal cloud of smoke from like here up to the ceiling was just smoke and i'm like Oh my gosh, this is like 
crazy. So I immediately open up the doors. No, I open up the doors. Open up the window. I open up the front door. The draft starts coming in, but here's where it gets if crazy. You guys don't know this. We have an alarm system. So we not only have like a um, security alarm system, but part of that alarm is smoke detectors that they set up with it. So I open up the door. As the house starts finally airing out to get all the smoke out of the house, our alarm, our smoke alarm detector goes off. And I'm it like, sets off our alarm. oh shoot. So I run over to our code and I type in the code to shut off the alarm, but 15 seconds later, we get a call from our yeah. alarm company saying, hey, I just got notified your smoke alarm went off. They were talking to Mariah, they called Mariah, and she was like, "Like, sorry, it went off on accident because there was a little smoke in the house from cooking, and she's like, okay, but everything's okay. We don't have to send the fire department. She was about to click the button to send the whole entire fire department to our front door. If we didn't answer the phone, they would have. If we didn't answer the phone, literal fire trucks and the fire chief and everyone would have yeah. came to our house. They might have even tried busting down our door mm -hmm. because of the freaking smoke everywhere. Yeah. We're on the phone with her and I shut the alarm off so the alarm finally shuts off and we're like, oh my God, we're so sorry, you know, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing, we have two, two smoke detectors in our house. One's on the main ceiling and the smoke rises and it goes to the highest place first. Well, since there was so much smoke in here. Hey, that shows that our, that our, um, that, that it works. works. Thank yeah. God. There was so much smoke in here. It rises and once it fills up, it starts going into the next rooms. This smoke detector right here was the second one to go off, which means the smoke had so much smoke up here, it came down four feet and started coming into the hallways. That's how much smoke was in our house. It was probably six feet of smoke oh, from like God. here on up. So we're on the phone with this lady and this one goes off then. And it starts blaring again. Our neighbors are outside walking their dogs, of course, at the same time. I'm opening up the door trying to air out the house. Nobody knows what's going on. Like they literally think like our house is like on fire. And it all was because I literally did, I feel like one of the main reasons why people catch their house on fire, I did it. And I've cooked like what, a thousand times. That's why you never leave I the stove on. I left the burner on, on no, with you don't hot leave, oil. No, you don't leave the stove unattended. Mm -hmm. it, it, that, that is like the worst thing you could ever do. And I was so mad at him yesterday. I wasn't like screaming at him, but I'm like, Bill, like. Good, I mean you should I'm though. like, you can't be doing that like if I was not here you would have set our house on fire it was this close if you weren't here I would have still been outside while the smoke alarms went off and it probably would have been ten times worse in here yeah so I'm not even kidding like this is a reminder it happens okay and we were very close to maybe our house catching on fire. I don't know if it 100% would have, but there was so much oh, smoke in here, it no matter so, what. So bad. If a flame like broke out, all of our wooden cabinets would be the first to go up, and then it would just be the rest of the house with it. So it is that easy. Like you could literally be 22, almost 23 years old, be experienced with cooking and all this stuff, and something it, that's super, like, I feel like it's when you get too comfortable with something. Don't leave the stove unattended. Yeah. I feel like that's Nothing. why. You don't I feel leave like anything unattended. Once you get super comfortable with something, you start getting well, like Well, stop getting comfortable because that's not, that's well, not that's something. That's like a reality about. check. I will never do that again. And I promise you, every single time you guys are cooking, don't even think like, oh, I'm just going to go pee really quick and then come back. Watch it because something could happen. And if you don't have someone there that can like watch it while you're gone. Well, first of all, I don't even know why you were even having. You had nothing on. I don't. Like, I don't even. I don't what even were you know. thinking? I was heating up the oil. So okay, but I you didn't need to heat. It. No, you didn't need to heat up the oil. You, you could have. You, you heat up the oil for like thirty seconds. I know. I don't know what I was thinking. You left it on there for like ten minutes. I was minutes. thinking I was gonna go in the pool and just take out the hose and run back in. Oh, I want to water. But the I got grass. distracted. No. I know. I, I'm stupid. I literally am, and I cannot believe that almost happened. It literally was so scary. So just really quick, this is some ring footage from my front door of when it started going off. This was yesterday. I'm airing out the house and the thing still went off. That's how much smoke was in there. Look at it. I waved to my neighbor and then all of a sudden the smoke alarm starts going off. When I tell you this was probably like, not gonna lie, the freakiest thing after like the actual like security company called us and was like, hey, you know, are you okay? We're gonna send fire trucks your way and stuff. And it, it really was like a, like a, I don't know, self-awareness. for you. I opener. Because I don't leave the stove unattended. I mean, for both of us now, because like, I feel like none, both of us, now that we live- I know not to leave the stove unattended like you did. Yeah.
so. Once again, luckily nothing bad happened. I know a lot We're of people are like, you know, also like unfortunate or fortunate to catch something before it happens. But like, holy crap, I did not think my first day of coming home from a two week trip, I would have almost did this. And uh, it would have been, it would have been like bad. Very, like, very, We would have lost like everything. Very thankful. That's yeah. all we gotta say. And you learned your lesson. I did. I really did learn my lesson. I promise I will never leave the stove unattended or any like hot thing unattended. Matter of fact, we need to get, I, I've been thinking about this too. We need to get fire extinguishers. Cause I've like, we have no know, fire. Like, I've know. been thinking about this for months. I know, we should get one. This is my wake up call to get one. Get I hope fire. we never have to use it, but as long as we have one and we keep it somewhere where we can use it. it right away, yeah. yeah. But you guys, life update. We are still trying to get back to Eastern time because it has been a challenge waking up. What time did you wake up today? 11.30. This is the second day back now from the LA trip. She woke up at 11.30. Luckily, I adapted good, but Mariah, this is day two of waking up past 11. It's been crazy, but I am feeling better. I am ready to get back into schedule. Working out. We gotta go grocery shopping. <laughs> How are you still tired? You've been awake oh, for like two tired. hours. I think so I'm starving too. I haven't had like no appetite the last two days either. It's we have crazy. no food here. We need to go grocery shopping. We need to get back to back yeah. to normal life. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, it was kind of, it really was all. <laughs> it went all from you being place. sick to yeah, so our house, house almost being on yeah, fire. So. It definitely went not Stay way we safe wanted. out there and we love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Welcome to the family. Also, comment down below if you have any like video ideas that you want us to film and we would love to hear you guys suggestions it's because. 2023 baby yeah let's get it we're back and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video but until, until then, then peace love, love you guys, guys.